What's up, YouTube? This is Lizard's H1 here. Today is November 29th, 2010. And yesterday, I made a video using Pwner's Duel 4.1.3 on how to upgrade your iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS baseband to the new 16.15.00 iPad baseband to unlock from where iOS 4.2.1. Now, that tutorial was for Mac users only, as Pwner's Duel is Mac only software. However, today I've got another video for you guys that uses Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5, and that is for Mac and Windows users. So you have a PC, you're good to go. So before we get on into this, you need to understand the three important warnings that this upgrade does. Number one, forge your warranty. Most important. If, a, say, you have a problem with your iPhone and you bring it into the Genius Bar, and that Genius goes to Settings General About, it will see they will see on the modem firmware. 16.15 your warranty's gone there's no way of hiding that it is clear number two you will not be able to restore to a factory firmware so say you go into itunes and you press the restore button it won't work you have to restore to a custom firmware made by either ponage tool or snow breeze when it comes out for 4.2.1 and number three if some update comes out say it's a critical fix for the older base band and you're on the newer baseband, it won't update, it will fail once again. So you cannot do that either. But putting those warnings aside, I've warned you, that's a disclaimer. We're going to start Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5. So once Red Snow launches, simply browse for the IPSW file. It's four. And 15. for Mac users, you could simply find this without downloading it by going to your user, then library, and then iTunes, and then iPhone software updates, and you'll see right there. So I do not have my iPhone with me. It's getting its screen repaired right now. But I'm going to show you what I can of the tutorial. So there we go. Now it says IPSW successfully identified. And now we're going to click next. Our son's going to do its bunch of things. Now we get to the screen here. So what we want to do is install Cydia. And I'm just going to, you could customize these options down here. I'm just going to install the multitasking, enable the multitasking. And we're going to see this option, install iPad baseband. Check that baseband, you'll see Red Snow will give us a warning. And these are all those warnings I talked about earlier before. And we're going to click yeah, next. Then we're going to click next. And now you're going to connect your iPhone to your computer. And before you do this, definitely back it up by right-clicking on the device after it's finished syncing and pressing back up. So once it's done backing up, turn it off while keeping it plugged into your computer, and then click Next. I'm going to DFU now. Simply follow the directions on the screen. It is a fairly simple process, although it's kind of easy to screw up. Now we can let go of the sleep, but continue to hold the home. Usually it's for shorter than this. Yep, and once again, it was shorter. I like to let go around here when the white screen pops up and now we're going to jailbreak. Now once the initial jailbreak is finished if you try to open city it will crash so what you have to do is go back into red snow once again browse for the same firmware once again now when you get back to the screen what you need to do is select the just boot tether option right there just boot tethered right now option and then click next and it's going to take you back into DFU mode. Now, as you can see, when we launch Cydia, it works. So, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.